from Brian Singer, the director with the mutant power to make Brett Ratner disappear, comes X-Men Days of Future Past. If First Class wasn't enough prequel for you, and Last Stand wasn't last enough for you, experience the prequel sequel that made the worst X-Men movie irrelevant, and the worst Wolverine movie into a bad dream. It's okay, it's okay, it's all gone now. Shh. Journey to a time when humanity and mutants alike are trapped in a Tron Legacy prison where only the plot of Terminator 2 can save them as an indestructible badass gets sent back in time without his clothes to protect a vulnerable young man with long hair who will one day become a leader and stop a shapeshifter from destroying the future. Who sent you? You did. The person who sent me was you. What? In a world full of other cool X-Men, meet Wolverine for the seventh f***ing time. Hugh Jackman returns to the role he could play in his sleep by now, which he does. Watch as he sent back to alter history the only way he knows how. Spoiler alerts. You and I are gonna be good friends. I spent a lot of years trying to bring you down, bub. I was your most helpless student. In the future, do I make it? No. Spend the other half of your time with characters like Charles Xavier, the young mutant heroin addict, Hank McCoy, his enabler. I added a little extra because you missed the dose. Quicksilver, a mutant so powerful he could single-handedly solve every problem the X-Men will ever have, which is probably why they leave him at home. And Mystique, a mutant so stubborn she'd rather cause the apocalypse than listen to reason. Humans use your blood, your genes, to create a weapon that wipes us all out. Please, do not make us the enemy today. Get out of my head, Charles! If you kill Trask, you'll be creating countless more just like him. Then I'll kill them too. When your psychic friend, his mortal enemy, and a dude from the future are all telling you the same thing, you should probably listen to him, idiot. So get ready for a super-powered snuff film where everyone dies. <laughs> but also, nobody dies and witness an epilogue that ties up all loose ends, where all your favorite X-Men show up alive and well, which totally undermines the stakes of X-Men Apocalypse. But who cares? This scene was awesome! Top that, Avengers! Starring... PowerPoint... Magnets... How do they work? The Flash... Reverse Austin Powers... Storm Thurmond... Miss Teats... Kelsey Syntax... Old Nito... Megamind... The other gay Ellen. I'm Tiny Ron Burgundy. And Ultron. X Men. Time Cop. So, if this movie takes place in 1973 and Wolverine Origins takes place in 1986, Charles is going to go from this to this in 13 years? Yikes. Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. Barbara Streisand. I now know why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Admiral, there'll be whales here. Kevin, I like pie. I am the Mockingjay. Somebody farted. <laughs>